All right, and that rounds out our our motley crew. And that ends up being what was the class you picked on that? See that? Barbarian. Oh, barbarian. Gotcha. Perfect. Okay, so you are all uh, showing up and uh, start traveling south. Now, how do you guys travel? You travel two by two, one by one, single file, everybody in a big line. What's 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 it look like when this group travels down the road, just walking down the road? Oh, we're walking. Oh, I, I don't know. Did, did you have some? I do not have a horse. Did you guys buy horses? I don't have a horse. <laughs> okay. We could get a carriage, perhaps. Could? I have a mule and cart from my background, but that's about it. <laughs> Maybe a land <laughs> ship. <laughs> uh, you do know that the cost of just regular transfer almost the cost of the job you're going on. Did you want to take a carriage or you're going to try to sail south? You're going to spend most of what you would make just going there. Let's walk. It's more fun. <laughs> yeah, I would prefer to walk. Um, how is there any like tree tree cover along the side of the road? Off and on, but it is kind of um, it's sparse trees. It's not like woods. Like the deeper woods are the ones that are more off of the road. And see, so it's at least a couple miles off the road when you get into thick woods. Um, so dotting along the road is like you might have a copse of trees where uh-huh. there's. You know, 10 or 15 and then it'll be a plains or some fields for farms or whatever when we get out of the trees Ayla will fly to create a shadow for the drow because she feels bad okay oh that's thank you (laughs) she thinks of it as taking care of the young (laughs) (laughs) so well um I mean if there's trees I'll kind of keep to the tree line and just kind of walk in the shade along the side but when we're out in sunlight I will be uh gladly under the shadow of Isla. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All if, right, there's a, uh, if there's a cart, I jump up into it and lay down. <laughs> yeah, the, I'll throw the, the there cart isn't. <laughs> yeah, that would cost too much. Yeah, there is. Everybody's walking. <laughs> it's a walking thing. All right. Um, you guys can buy one. How about that. Just don't spill your beer on the trip. That's right. Lazy dwarves. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Okay, so you guys are traveling south, and you see some traffic here and there, so some people that are heading up to Waterdeep, you might see, um, you know, you might pass a wagon that's got some type of materials in it. It could be, you know, different types of merchants, different types of farmers and those kinds of things. Other people, you might see a carriage go by you every now and then, or riders that are heading south there's other groups that are walking typically but you know as you get further south kind of have the road to yourself for spans of time like 20 30 40 minutes you'll go before you might see somebody and then you know you might see someone again and then as you get further south the time between somebody gets um, longer and longer then by end of uh, right towards the end of day one, you guys um, go ahead and south and, oh, well, tell me how, what's your marching order? What's it look like for your group that's walking along? Just so I have a clear idea of what head down the road. I would be somewhere near the front. Same here. Okay. I would be toward the back, but not at the back. Okay, walking shoulder to shoulder, talking amongst each other, or skirmish line, you know, danger sense ready. What is it? What does it look like for this group traveling? I'm annoying and talking to everybody I can find. Okay. Generally, I don't start fights, but I finish them. Okay. I uh, I'm just making bird sounds, you know, bird music. Go. The, the druid will take up the uh, the back of the marching order. Okay. Yeah, and I guess right, I'm a few so, feet in front of the group. 
Okay, so almost like you're kind of scouting out, keeping an eye out of what's coming up front? Exactly like that. Okay. And that's throughout the day, right? Uh Uh-huh. Okay. And let's say about midday, uh, you guys stop to take a rest and, you know, just off to the side of the road, maybe break out some rations. What does that look like? Give me an idea of what it looks like when you guys are out on the road and you're, you're taking your break. How's that? Is it just sitting around in a circle? Is it dice on the ground, taking all of Greybeard's money? <laughs> all right. So T. Gray and Greybeard start some dice game. It works for cool. me. Okay. I think uh, I would be studying the druid pretty often, just kind of staring. Okay. Well, I'm actually just Bird, like, gonna stare. sit and meditate. <laughs> okay. So Jarl would be Ian or Armel. Jarl would be off. He would be with the group, like close by, uh, preferably finding some shade. Um, he would be observing. Um, not obviously, but he'd just kind of be observing the group. Focusing more, I think, on um, on Greybeard, and probably Ian Agris. Okay. What is Ian? I I would probably, if there were a tree ne- nearby, I'd probably either leaning against it, sitting against it, or up in it, depending if I were eating or not eating. Um watching beyond the group like okay. making sure there's nothing coming up on us yeah okay and not interacting okay, so that with gives like, us really a good anyone idea. right yeah. all right sounds good so okay so we got a good idea of how you guys travel we got a good idea of how you take your break take your rest uh you guys get back on the road and, and i mean if it's something like where the group says you know whenever we take a break we're always looking for you know, a tree to sit under. That's fine too. You guys can do that. Or you're looking for some type of cover or something. Just let me know. Um, but you're back on the road. You haven't really seen people for too long. And let's go ahead and get our first roll. Let's get a exception check from our front, whoever's up at the front. So I'm going to say that's probably uh, Ayla and E, right? Those the two that were up front yeah give perception me a perception check? check just yep see what we get perception. thank you oh nice what did you get do i even have to roll <laughs> sure she yep, e- go ahead and roll <laughs> she eagle-eyed it hey pun intended <laughs> that bird vision you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh, another good roll. Two good rolls. So you, both of you, right at the exact same time. Um, And it's not only vision, but you actually hear it too. You hear the sound of a horse, probably in kind of a flat area. And it's probably about a mile up, maybe two miles. But because it's starting to get a little bit, uh, the sun's starting to go down, it's getting harder to see further out. Um, but you're sure that you see a horse to the side of the road. The, the you guys are traveling south, so it would be to the uh, east side, kind of in the gully. There's like gullies that run along, and you know sometimes the land rises up and goes down. But you can see that there's a horse in the gully, and you guys got such good rolls. It looks like there's a cart attached to the horse, sitting off to the side of the road, and it's about probably a mile, mile and a half up. So it's almost, can't get much more detail than that, but um, that's what you see. And we hear them moving? We hear the horse? You can you hear, hear this, moving? you can hear the noise of the horse. Like it sound, you, what you, you heard a little bit of hooves and what you can do is you can tell that it is now come to a stop. But the, the noise you had heard was it moved. You heard you heard the, the the hoof sounds. And now as you're looking at it, that's what kinda caught your attention. And now that you're looking way down there, you can 
made it out, you're sure it's a horse. Pretty sure there's a cart attached to it. No, it's a little ways out. But it seems to be down in the gully off the road. Okay. Side. I am. I am. Are you. Are you flying, Ayla? Yeah. I'm in the air. I. I, um. I look up to Ayla and, uh. Well, make just, just so we clarify, I'm going to assume that Ayla's walking with the group up until. Until she says, "I'm going to fly," because I don't, I don't think you can fly for like the entire day. Okay. Um, no, okay. just only in like the in the tree areas. I probably be walking when you need it. Like when you need, yeah, like, yeah. Like you fly when it's needed, but walking is your normal mode. Okay. I. So you're gonna take flight. Yeah, to try and see okay. more. I guess. Sure. Okay, so you. you fly up and oh I did want to really caution you a little bit too fall damage so do not get shot down out of the sky probably won't survive it is brutal if you hit the ground <laughs> just so you know okay bird, bird people are super light <laughs> yeah Okay. Um, okay. So you fly up now. Are you going to fly towards it, or are you just going to fly up higher to get a better angle? Or are you? Fl- I'm just going to fly up higher to get a better angle. Angle. Okay. I'm going to be being cautious. So I'm. All right. <clears throat> Jarrell sees them kind of go towards something, and he's going to uh, see if he oh, can. Oh, and I. Go ahead. Uh, before that, I would have told the group. Um, I would have uh, slowed down a little bit, and I would have looked around, and you know. And like, told them like, let's be cautious for a second. Uh, there's something up ahead. Let's let Ayala scope it out before we we end up right on top of it. So, I would make the group slow down a little bit. Okay. All right. I would have probably kept to the tree line and just kind of moved ahead, but stayed back just to kind of observe. Okay. Well, okay. So. I step forward and heft my axe. Awesome. <laughs> so I, I like pre- up. Oh, go ahead. I appreciate everybody's caution, but I just uh, sit there and have my staff. <laughs> Prudent. <laughs> Waiting for some. So okay, let's let's uh, pan. I get your name wrong forever, Ava, right? She uh, she doesn't care. It's not even her real name. Call her whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, is it AI? So how many? She, of the secretly, do she doesn't think anybody is smart enough to pronounce her actual name. So she just lets them call her something. I'm gonna say Ayla until I that, until you correct her. So okay, Ayla, you're up, and you've got a better view, and you really can see it. Although, you know, the way the sun is starting to go down, you can tell that it's gonna be harder to see. But it is clearly a horse that seems to now be eating some grass on this off of the road, probably about 15, 20 feet off the road. And it does have a cart attached to it. You see nothing else around it. It's kind of plains. It's kind of grassy area. It's the road. It's a gully that's kind of down and off to the side of the road. You know, just maybe, maybe a 20 or 30, not even that, maybe a 15 or 20 foot downgrade, you know, down the slope a little bit, and it's just kind of sitting there and starting to eat. I'd, uh, I'd probably land and okay. Um, okay. motion to. I'm gonna mess this up. Ian? E- Ian? Yeah, Ian. You can just say Ian, like the name I <laughs> Ian. <laughs> Ian. And, uh, She's going to, like, kind of say the word horse and then just kind of make horse sounds as best she can. <laughs> and uh, Are you close to me? Yeah, she's next to you, and then she's just going to signal. Okay. Like, Nobody's there. It's just a horse. She's not really uh, talking yet. She's not feeling it. Just mostly her attempt at other animal sounds. Was there a I, uh... She tried. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody hear it? Can anybody hear that? 
Sure, she's, you know, you guys are all right there. Just talking. Oh, okay, so this isn't them, the two of them up yeah. ahead. So we're no, all... I, oh, okay. I, I, I look over at Ayla as she tells me this, and um, I, I give her sort of a, a strange look and a look of sort of like in awe because I'm still like super fascinated. I'm still not used to, um, you know, a, an elf... A humanoid with wings and uh, bird-like features. I'm still like so all about it. Um, I'm secretly a huge fan of her, so I'm looking okay. at her sort of like in awe, and uh, and yeah, and <laughs> trying to figure out like um, and you know after like a couple of seconds, I figure out that oh, what she's trying to imitate is a horse. Um, so I'm like, oh okay, all right. So no one's there. It's empty. Yeah. I thump, I thump A and with my uh, flat of my axe and say "free horse" and stomp off. Towards the horse. All right, so the dwarf just starts marching down the road. This can only end well. His. Uh, middle. <laughs> yeah, I suggest following him. I'm going to. Okay. So the group kind of makes its way down, and yeah, what you do is you, it's a few minutes down the road here, and you come up on a pretty much like a chestnut-looking horse, definitely a kind of a, a pack animal, um, a work horse. It's not one that you would typically see um, pulling carts and doing work on farms and kinds of things. And there is a cart attached to it as you walk up, and the horse is just kind of eating... Um, it seems a little skittish a little bit as you guys come walking up because it's like a bunch of you, but you can tell it's also used to being around people. So um, it just continues to eat grass um, and there's basically a horse and a cart. Ah, tomorrow's luck. Ah, look, we did get a cart. I say, hey, Greybird, look at all these coins in here. <laughs> Even better. And I jump in the cart. All right, well, uh, when you jump in the cart, um, the dragon pops out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I would just kind of stare at the uh, horse. She's never really seen a creature like this. The only kind she's seen had wings. So she uh, she wonders what grievous thing this horse did to lose its wings. Feels really sad. Why did you lose your wings? Um, so when you're looking in the, in the cart, uh, Greybeard, what you do notice, do you do a little... Did, did you play the trick on him, wizard, or were you just saying... Three? Hell yeah. Okay, so... Any chance I get. So you, you use, like, a little thaumaturgy-type kind of... Yeah, I have a minor illusion cantrip that I okay. use all the time. So you do see some coins, apparently, but you also see um, crates. There's these crates there. They're about... Probably about five foot to six foot long. Um, and a couple of them, the lids have jostled open, and what you see also inside those, it looks like it's bolts of fabric. So it's a lot of um, some linens, um, some silk stuff, some burlap, some... and they're all just kind of these bolts that sit inside these crates. So it, 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 to you, it looks like a very typical merchant um, wagon cart, wagon cart. Trade goods. The coins vanished again. I must be yeah, seeing yeah, things. Yeah, you try to grab them. As you try to grab the coins, they just disappear. You I rub my them. eyes like I usually do. <laughs> and then I guess I she lay down between that. the crates. Okay. I'm going to walk in a circle around the crate looking for uh, traces of the owners. Yeah, no one would leave this valuable wares just here. I was uh, standing back. She's she's hanging back. Okay. So, uh, anybody doing some checks here? Is that what we're hearing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm searching around the area. So, Gerald is gonna walk by up to the, the, I guess the cart, the carriage, um, Mm -hmm. and just kind of. So, Logan, you're using like a perception check. Then you're just looking for people like in the woods around or. Okay. Um, do that one first real quick. Um, you're in kind of a flat area. It's it's maybe shin tall grass for several miles. 
Uh, um, you're, you don't see any farms in the distance. You don't see any buildings in the distance. You don't see any people. I mean, as you're looking, if somebody was out there, I mean, grass doesn't even seem to be high enough to really hide in very well. So you're not seeing people in the immediate vicinity of, of the sight lines that you have. And you're not really in trees at this point. You're just kind of on a flat part where it's all grassy kind of plains like did, did they walk away i mean can we yeah i look find any tracks i look uh for any tracks yeah I okay yep yeah. does anybody have that skill skill that helps with that or are you just going to do a perception check i did what a perception did okay. yeah, the, ra- the ranger probably perception? has a track right yeah I mean, i'm thinking it's no it's no i think you have track. like a don't you have a is there a skill that would be equivalent um, fifth ed survival. Yeah, if I guess if you survival check. I mean, I have survival. I could attempt. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If anybody, too. yeah. Go, yep. So, do a couple of rolls and just see what we start to get. I would assume they had a track. Okay. Yep. You're not seeing any tracks there, Logan. Uh, 19's good. Okay. Um. Ian, what you've noticed is you can tell that the cart came to a stop here, but you can see also the tracks where it went back up onto the road, and you can follow the tracks that went down the road. They look pretty fresh, and it looks like when he they came off the road, it kind of swerved off the road as if it was moving kind of quickly, and then came to a stop where the horse is at right now. Do I only see wagon and uh, horse tracks? Do I not see any? Yes, yeah, so you don't see tracks? any other track. You're not finding any other types of tracks we're around this and it's all flat right yeah it's all grassy plains kind of the road yeah i tell i tell uh, uh, uh who is who is looking to arma uh i tell arma that i don't see anything i didn't see anything either uh i kind of like tries to do the worst game of charades ever to uh, Eon and uh, like it for like bandits or something. And does she uh, does she have to make a roll for this or? <laughs> sure. <Your choice>. Performance. <laughs> yeah, like a performance check. Performance check. <laughs> Let's see how bad this goes. Oh well. Hey. Oh, hey, all right. Really your good. performance is great. You get your point across. What are you trying to get across? That maybe they about did this. Oh, okay. So, but it's like a question. right? If you're yeah, a bandit, I, we would find bandit tracks too. Yeah, I tell her that. Um, I, I only just point see... to my wings. <laughs> I uh, yeah, I tell her that I didn't see anything here, but it looks like the wagon did swerve, so maybe farther ahead. Yeah, as Something you're looking at it, I mean, you got a you got a pretty good roll there. As you're looking at it, you think that um, the, the it obviously the horse probably was running. As you check the road a little bit further south, it was obviously galloping down the road, then decided to swerve off the road and come to a stop at the edge. And after uh, conveying that message, I go over to the horse and I try, you know, try and soothe it because it must have had a very harrowing experience. Sure, sure. It is a little skittish. You can try your animal handling skill. See if you can calm the horse, calm the horse down. We're out in the open, right? You are. You are out in the open, and there's, you know, there's not really much cover. So, are we assuming it came from the south? Yes, the tracks show that it came from the south, same direction you guys were heading. You make your roll. Uh, yeah. I double clicked on accident. Yeah. Can you see it? I don't see it. You might have to Less- scroll. Yeah, the last one I see is the performance. It's right above it. It's right below it. I already did that other one. I'll roll again. Let's see. It is my animal handling. Plus two. Scroll. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing it either. There we go. Oh, now I see it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You you definitely calm the horse down and it. It's, seems very soothing and it would follow you where you'd be able to lead it. The horse is now calmed. 
<clears throat> so and we'll, it's still attached to the cart. Sorry. Still attached to the cart, and you can see that the the reins have obviously have been dragging. Um, but yeah, you, there's reins and there's there's a thing on the front where you can lead the horse if you want, or you can even do it from the. Cart. I say we take the cart south and see if we can find where it came off the road. We obviously shouldn't leave it here. I agree with that sentiment. Okay. So, something that kind of stands out to you too is the idea that this is a horse that pulls a cart of stuff wouldn't normally be running. So the idea that you found if you had just a little bit south on the road that it was obviously running you're getting the idea that that seemed out of place. So while this is going on, I'm going to jump into the cart. I'm assuming it's covered. Nope, nope. It's a wide open cart. Just wide there's open. crates in there and a door flying back. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to um, attempt to see if there's anything, um, like anything outside of, you know, what appears to be there. Okay, and how are you going to... Uh, uh, just kind of look for any secret compartments or anything like that. Oh, okay. So, do... be a good roll. Believe... Hey, keep your hands to yourself. I would be <laughs> searching inanimate things. <laughs> <laughs> I believe what you're looking for there is still a perception roll. Perception or investigation? Uh, yep. Let's go investigation. Okay. <laughs> so you're looking through, and it seems like it's crates of, you know, fabrics, bolts of fabric, and a dwarf, and you're not really seeing hidden compartments that you can find. Seems like a, a pretty standard merchant cart. Can I do the same check underneath? Like get under the cart? Uh, sure. We'll assume that uh, Ian holds the horse steady so you don't ran over. Um, yeah, you're looking under the cart. You're not seeing... Checking it pretty thoroughly. You're, you're tapping wood. You're prying on little pieces that might look like you know imperfections, but it, you're still not finding any hidden compartment under the cart. Okay. What, what time of day is it? Yeah, the sun's rapidly going down, so... Okay. Soon you guys are going to have to make... Probably have another hour, most likely, of pretty good vision light, and then it'll be dark enough that you probably want to stop. And you've been traveling all day. Pretty long. 15, 10, 15 hours. How much room is in the cart? Like, it would, um, would, it, would there be enough well, room the for everybody crate, to kind of lay down? I don't know about that. Okay, so it's a small cart. Yeah, it's a smaller cart. So you could probably have two or three people jump in, but the rest would have to. I will uh, drive the cart. Okay. So you're going to turn it around, get it back up on the road. Uh, yeah. Um, you're going to drive the cart from. Yeah, from the from inside wherever that bench part is. Right. Yep. Okay. How much is there another room for another person up there? Sure. Yep. All right. I'll sit up there as well. And okay. So, so we as got it gets, two people there. As it gets darker, I'll be able to see. And then we've got a dwarf laying in the back. You could probably fit another person if two. I think I'll still jog alongside, walk alongside. Okay. And you guys start heading south again? Yeah. All right. Uh, Ayla and Ian, where are you at as you're heading south? I'm going to be walking to the probably left side of the uh, cart near okay. the horses. Horse. Yep. 
Ian? Ha 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 ha, I was muted. I will stand <laughs> on the on the other side. Okay. okay, so right with the horses. Okay, so you guys go on <laughs> a loud snoring door way. Um, and it's only another mile or so and come up and you uh, it look, what looks like several hundred yards ahead of you is two people, two humanoid shapes seem to be in the middle of the road and they're bent over as if they're picking stuff up along the road and there seems to be debris along the road it's about maybe 150, 200 yards up the road still south of you what do they look like? What do they wear? Um, here, go ahead and do a perception check from this from this rain. They have not noticed you. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, they appear to be humans, and it looks like they have just regular um, work type clothing on. And it looks like you recognize some of the the same shape of the crates that are in the back seem to be strewn across the road and they're putting stuff back into some of those crates and trying to gather some of the stuff up. Ah, these must be our crate friends. 